I'm using very okay I'm using very like sports mom football mom vibes I don't fucking know I actually went running this morning my door is pissing me off I'm trying to fix it it's not working I don't know what it is my door is just banging I only have a minute before I have to get back to studying. Jesus fucking Christ, it is so hard to film any type of video anywhere. Valentine's Day is coming up. I feel like everyone in the fucking world has read this book except me. I love this cover. I'm gonna be reading this book once I've done my studying. Maybe I'll read more tonight. I don't, I don't really know. I don't think it'll take me more than a couple of days though, for sure. Because I've heard people say that it's like really good. My expectations are quite high. But yes, I'm excited to read this. And I guess this is a reading vlog. I've never done a reading vlog. I don't know if this is going to be interesting. I'm imagining there might be spoilers throughout this book vlog. So I will put spoiler warnings. So don't worry if you haven't read the book. Also, I'm just out of reading um, A Court of Thorns and Roses, the first three books. So that's a thousand seven hundred pages of fantasy, and I'm like dead. And I'm in a book slump. So I am relying on this book. I'm putting all my faith in this book to get me out of this book slump. fucking failed i was supposed to read a chapter i think i'm i don't even know i don't even care i just want to keep reading they're hella cute what i'm on page 50 i worked for a little bit when i got to like page 20 and then i didn't go back to work it's so funny i've actually laughed so many times out loud i want to go back to reading so i'm just gonna leave y'all okay so I'm running out of water. Stay hydrated. Anyways, my hair looks really nice because I washed it and I don't look like a sweaty ass anymore. That's what showering does, kids. Initial thoughts. I'm quite liking the flirting and the banter. I think it's great. Very funny. I've laughed out loud several times. I'm annotating this for a friend. So um, there's the odd sticky note usually like i fucking hate the teacher and student trope i actually did research wait hold on there's an age gap of like eight to nine years which you know it's a little much for me but i can honestly it's fine i think that she's 25 and he's like 33 maybe 34 he's in his early 30s and honestly because they're a bit older and it's not like she's not a minor like it's not pedophilia <laughs> like some teacher student shit he's not her actual teacher i'm okay with it i went into this just knowing that it was like academic rivals to lovers kind of so far i think all of is cool i like her as a main character and her friendship with Anne honestly reminded me of me and my bestie so i'm gonna do some reading <music> It's the equivalent to the one bed situation. <sighs> I want to sit on his lap. If you don't want to sit there, I will. What do you want to tell Joe Byron right now? What's up, baby? Take me out the dinner. Hey, yo. When he can push a fucking truck. Italian marble. Okay, girl. I'm damn bad too, but not that much. What did he say? Oh, they're so awkward and I love it. Okay, it's two in the morning. I'm I'm liking it. Not to the point where it's unpotentable just yet, but still pretty good. 
I look rough because I just woke up I wanna read this morning and not spend on my phone Like I went downstairs and then my mom was like making pancakes with my siblings And they were like, oh, we were gonna bring it up And I was like, oh, I'm going back up then, don't worry about me I'll go back up Currently where Olive is pissed off at Adam for failing Greg And I just wanna say, little PSA here I don't know if it's just me But I, I don't really hold it against teachers when they're really harsh Or they just cut straight to the craft I see it as them getting us ready for the real world kind of teaching us that we shouldn't take it that badly and just you know go and improve whatever it is or, you know get better at whatever it is because that's why they failed us a grade or whatever it is we need to work harder it can be nice when you receive like feedback in a nicer way than just you know your shit i'm kind of like siding with him on this olive really doesn't want to put sunscreen on this man like stop complaining look it's breakfast let's go oh, this never happens the amount of times he calls olive smart ass oh my god i'm also i'm at the flu shot scene right now it's so cute i love it when like it's the grumpy sunshine trope but like the grumpy one has some like irrational fear like it's so funny i am nearing the 200 page mark of the love hypothesis and i don't want to stop except i have chores and i'm about to go make some tea also should be doing homework i have my whole ass to-do list from yesterday i barely got any shit done because i started the love hypothesis i think it's getting me out of my book some thank god however i am prioritizing it over everything so that's not good i don't know what to do i really should be doing work it needs to do work but i'm gonna read instead on silent and shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> the show is about to begin. <laughs> mm hmm There's a funny part in the book. Um, she spilt a drink on his t-shirt. Well, that was definitely something. You know what? No. Well, no. That was 20 pages long. That was too long. Because I've been dying to talk about it for a fucking hot minute. First of all, I felt like the characters weren't themselves during that scene. I wouldn't have been mad if they didn't have a smut scene in this. Because that 20 pages, it just didn't belong there. There were certain parts in it that made me laugh and I was like, oh, there's all over. There's Adam, like there's their character coming back out. And then someone was like, that just doesn't seem like it's something they would do or say. I don't know, maybe it's because they were like horny as hell. So they just became a different person. I made the mistake of thinking it was done. Goes into the next chapter, my bad. <laughs> How long is it? It's four minutes and, and there's more. It's the 14th, um, officially. I think it's like 12. And I just finished the love hypothesis. Oh, it was a really cute book. The only thing that really bugged me would be the smut scene, I think. It was just uncomfy. It just didn't feel right. I liked the subplots and the theme spoiler. Um, I liked the parts we focus on all of in her career, but also her having to make the decision of telling Adam about one of his friends, trying to figure out if he'll believe her, and a bunch of other things that come up. I love all the characters in this book. I thought they were really cool, except for Tom, obviously. I look absolutely all over the fucking place. Um, bear with me. 
good tape. Very funny, very lighthearted. I loved both of the characters. I didn't think I was such a big fan of Grumpy Sunshine, but low key, give me more, give me more. I think it's just, I didn't love this book as much as everyone else did. I did read it quite fast, but like I could have put it down. You know what I mean? But I loved how they incorporated uh, science. It's one of my first like academic kind of books that I've seen. And the fake dating, 280. Don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious, oh, don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. John Ralphio? Don't take your son So that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I was planning to go out to the bookshop today and just relax, maybe meet the love of my life in a bookstore, but it was raining, shit weather, so I didn't go anywhere and I just I studied and I read and that's all I did. But yeah, hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.